welcome back and this is a chip master in this video i'm going to explain how to use a infrared thermal camera which is developed by a company in china called chenny chongqing to de detect short and leakage all right so i have this motherboard here which is an hp 2000 motherboard and uh it has a short that i cannot detect so i even bypassed the official the original pdm circuit and use another uh, PWM circuit from another HP motherboard, cut the board and uh, wired it into the original board. And as you can see, I got a white, I got the standby LED light, as you can see, and I'm getting 20 milliamp of short, right? And this is a short. So even though it has a standby light, right? I'm getting 20 milliamps, right? But there's a short, right? 20 milliamps, is, that's too high for the standby for this motherboard. So i have here let me move this out of the way the incredible uh thermal image camera here all right and it is a camera let me get it in the light right the camera and an infrared sensing right and this is all metal very incredible i paid uh 700 for this tool right on a uh, union repair and uh, you can also find it on aliexpress also for the same price Alright, so I'm going to demonstrate how to use this tool to detect short leakage and short. That is difficult to feel. You cannot use free spray. You cannot use rosin because it's at, it's almost at room temperature. So it's difficult to detect that uh, short without a tool like this with bare hands or using short uh, free spray or rosin. As you can see, and uh, this is the thermal uh, camera under the thermal camera. And I'm um, going to demonstrate uh, how I to use this tool to detect the short and that small milliamp short that's not getting hot with this incredible tool, which is an infrared thermal instrument. As you can see, it's a quick diagnostic instrument. And uh, as you can see, I have here, let me just get this on the way with my hand there. All right, so I'm going to hit the seat button here and I'm going to, oh, so I'm going to, Connect the power. All right, the power is connected now, and I'm going to. There's a slight delay. As you can see, it's actually picking up the heat sensing right here, and I'm going to hit seek. As you can see now, it's in infra in the seat mode, so the infrared light. It switch over to the image light. As you can see, there is a small uh, heat here. That is the standby chip getting hot. But if I change this IC, it still gets hot. So that's not the fault, right? So. I flip the motherboard over. So I'm going to flip over the motherboard on the EC side. Alright. And I'm actually align it directly to the EC. Alright. As you can see, I'm going to now adjust the sliders for the image. This is the maximum temperature, minimum temperature. Right. So as I am adjusting the slider. Alright. Let me just say sometimes a delay on this uh, software. all right there we go so i have i have two short here as you can see but this is mainly caused by the ec so i'm going to narrow it down again all right i'm going to narrow it all the way down so as you can see this is a short and it's 29 degrees there's no way you can feel that with your bare hands or using free spray or using rosin i also have another slight short here but when i checked it it is there's a resistor that is running hot because this resist this ec is bad so the the pull up our uh, uh, voltages which is for the EC reset is bad so the EC is the fault here is okay this is the EC is causing here to be very hot okay oh let me just adjust yeah all right that went back into image mode so as you can see the two points there one is here and one is here so it is giving me the two points that this is there's a short here and a short here let me go back into it infrared mode and I'm dragging the slider narrowing it down as you can see the hottest point I can even drag is box here for the maximum and highest and lowest temperature frame as you can see it's 29 degrees and its minimum is 28 degrees very small all right so I've successfully found my fault with the help of this tool and uh, I just want to thank these guys for developing, developing such an incredible 
tool to locate the small leakage and short okay all right thanks for watching bye